Hello everyone, it's Fabi Gamer and coming to you guys with a new video. And in this video, I will be discussing why can't Vegeta go Super Saiyan 3. Well, I feel like there's many major reasons to why Vegeta cannot go Super Saiyan 3. But one of the key reasons is pretty simple. It's because Akira Toriyama did not write it in. And by the time that he could have, Dragon Ball Z was coming to an end. And it was time for GT, which is 10 years after Dragon Ball Z takes place. And as you can see in GT, Vegeta is still a Super Saiyan 2. In my opinion on why he still remains the same or a tiny bit stronger, just a tad bit, not really nothing much, is because in GT, Goku and U were the only ones to progress. Everyone else either remained the same or weaker due to their lack of training, which is why many fans call it Goku time. Pretty much because Goku was the star throughout the whole entire series, which I feel like is pretty boring, you know. Switch it up a little bit. The reason why people enjoyed the Cell Saga is because um, Gohan was the star. It was pretty good. But also, because Goku was the one looking for the um, Black Star Dragon Balls, not Vegeta. So if Vegeta was able to achieve the Super Saiyan 3 form, he would also need the spotlight too. So to avoid... To avoid giving Vegeta the spotlight and ruin the little Goku show, they said they simply say, "Hey, let's um let's go ahead and make a machine to make Vegeta turn into a Super Saiyan form, rather than actually having to train hard just like Goku did and having to achieve the Super Saiyan 3 form first, making him equal with Goku." So pretty much it's that's pretty much why. But now you see why he can't do it in GT, you know what I mean? But now I was playing the fight between him and Beerus. And Master Roshi states that Vegeta is stronger than Goku, although he is only a Super Saiyan 2. Well the reason for that is going Super Saiyan 3 then and there was not a good uh, not a good time at all. One reason why is because every time you achieve a new form, it involves the rage and all the angry screaming and all the effects and all that stuff. It would have just took it away from the quick action. Another reason is Super Saiyan 3 form was already rendered useless against Beerus when Goku and him fought on King Kai's planet. So it would have been important to go Super Saiyan 3 knowing you would have possibly tied yourself out since that is your first time achieving the form. You know, or you put you most likely would have got flicked away like a, a big piece of nothing as he did do in Super Saiyan 2 form. So pretty much, that's pretty much why. And one more thing I have to address. <laughs> so most of you guys most likely heard that the Dragon Ball again took him to a new direction by Kira Toriyama. Well, I kind of understand why it would like be taken to a new direction, cause in when in um, Battle of Gods you see that Goku absorbed the God powers, so really he don't need to go beyond Super Saiyan. But anyway, that pretty much wrap up my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Floppy Army. Um, message me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be in the description. Goodbye.